The man behind the wheel in the deadly make bus crash is expected to learn his fate today. A verdict is expected this morning. In fact, John Tomaszewski is facing four counts of criminally negligent homicide in this deadly wreck on the Onondaga Lake Parkway in September of 2010. Let's go live to our Brandon Roth. He's outside the Onondaga County Courthouse now with the latest. Brandon, good morning to you. Good morning, Meg. One week after the court heard opening statements, Megabus driver John Tomaszewski is expected to learn his fate today, and that fate will be in the hands of a judge, not a jury. During closing arguments today, prosec Monday, prosecutors argued that Tomaszewski's behavior was dangerous because he failed to use a GPS, failed to pull over, and ignored all warnings. District Attorney Chris Bednarski argued Tomaszewski should be found guilty because he missed the 13 signs warning him about the bridge. The defense claimed Tomaszewski was not reckless at the time of the crash, but that he just was lost and inexperienced. Tomaszewski himself never took the stand. Listening to his GPS, getting forced off the road, driving from Philadelphia, driving at nighttime, uh, it, it, he would have said all of the same things. He would have said that he didn't see the signs, and, and so there wasn't a need to put him on the stand. Prosecutors say Thomas Shevsky did not follow company code and pull over and dial 911 when lost. If convicted, Tomaszewski could face up to four years in state prison. We're live outside the county courthouse this morning. Brandon Roth for today in Central New York. All right, Brandon, thanks for Jessica Kane. We'll be in court and we'll tweet the decision as soon as it comes down. Be sure to follow her at Jessica Kane News.